Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Well, what? Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. I tell you, you start down and fly like a sucker. So, yeah, so how did you get started in the uh, porn industry? Um, so I was doing my own content. So I was doing, like, OnlyFans and premium Snapchat. And I was promoting it on my, like, personal Instagram and my personal um, Twitter. And I met this girl at a party. We exchanged, mm-hmm. like, social media, whatever. And um, so I was promoting it, and it turned out she did porn. I didn't mm-hmm. know. And uh, he saw me promoting it, and she's like, "Girl, do you want to do real porn?" I'm like, "Fuck yes!" <laughs> and so he um, hooked me up with my uh, current agent, um, mm-hmm. Ryan from Motley Models, and the rest is history. And now we're here, baby. Now we live. <laughs> so you had like no hesitation at all. Oh, no. no, I always wanted to do porn, but mm-hmm. like I've had like like since I was 18 I wanted to do porn but yeah. uh like I had like people tell me they could get me into porn but it was like sugar daddies or like things okay. like that and I'm like uh, I don't trust you yeah <laughs> yeah good <laughs> call yeah. yeah and I, I think it's good I got it when I got in because I'm definitely mm-hmm. more mature than when I was 18 yeah surprisingly but um yeah so I think <laughs> I think it's a good good thing I got in when I did for sure. Yeah. And so how, so how long have you been doing it then? Um, in November, it'll be a year. Okay. Nice. Nice. So mm-hmm. was there anything like surprising to you whenever you actually started doing it? Like maybe like a misconception that you may have had, or did you, or do you think that you knew pretty well what was going to happen ahead of time? I knew pretty well what was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. So whenever you're, so can you take me through like what a typical day on like a porn set is? Like how is it for you like as like the female actress? Um, I mean, everybody's really like accommodating you get there. Um, they go through your wardrobe, they're telling you how pretty you are. It depends on the set, but you get your makeup mm. done, feel bougie. Um, <laughs> and you like meet the male talent. Mm-hmm. and um talk to the male talent a little bit before you start filming and um go through like a list of yes and no's that mm-hmm. you would want to happen during the scene which by the way i have no no's you so, have no no's <laughs> no no's i haven't started doing anal yet so, but like fingers okay boys fine yeah yeah so, yeah normal scene, I'm like go ahead put what you want okay. that, not your dick <laughs> yeah same <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, look, whether you can or whether you should are two completely different things. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, damn. So, there's nothing like, is there anything that you haven't done that is like on like a bucket list for you? Um, I think. See, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, I've done anal in my personal life. So, I can't. I want to do a DP. Okay. But I've been told that my asshole and my pussy might be too tight to be a TP. Yeah. Like well. ever. Because I'm like so small that my ass and my pussy are really tight. So they're like, eh, I don't know if we'll be able to do DP. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a common problem. I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. You have the same problem? Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Oh, it, it really uh it really limits my performance ability, you know. Oh, damn. Yeah. you feel me you feel me i get it oh yeah i you, get it for sure you know the fucking vibes exactly yeah, yeah i mean it's 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 something that i struggle with but you know I'll, I'll get through it one day we'll get through it together amen hosanna <laughs> <laughs> wait so how tall are you i'm 410 jesus christ damn yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
God. I haven't been 4'10 since I was in, like, third grade. See, I stopped growing in, like, the sixth grade. Same. Aging, aging in general. Like, I looked the same since I was in the sixth grade. <laughs> it's fun, bro. Yeah, well, I don't know. It could be worse. Okay. I mean, I, yeah, like, I... Do, so, do you get offered... Like, do you think that you get offered like certain scenes based on what like your appearance is that typically how it goes like whatever your yeah. appearance is that's like the vibe that you give off yeah definitely because i mean you i mean you can have mill playing like a stepdaughter scene mm -hmm. but it's not gonna be as realistic and that's what we're going for here i know? gotcha yeah so yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but but yeah um so i definitely i definitely do get like I mean, a lot of my teens, my scenes are teen scenes because mm -hmm. I look like a teen. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's what I like, cause I was, you know, like looking through your stuff, obviously. And I was like, oh yeah. Like it's, it seems like, I mean, it's not even just you really, it's like porn in general. Like when someone has like a certain vibe or an appearance, like that is what they get like put in. Yeah, and and it's kind of stay that way, but it makes sense because there's just so many different like genres and kinks and everything. Like, yeah, like can you picture me playing a mill? <laughs> Probably not. Exactly. But see, but also I could never be somebody's mother. Okay, well, <laughs> same. But um, uh -huh. <laughs> but also like the milf genre is like so vague now. Like it used to be like, I remember like in my head, whatever I think of it, I think of someone who's like 38 to like 48. Yeah. But now, like if you like click on that as a category, I mean, there are people that look like they're 25. Yeah. It's I like, think. well, yeah. I mean, I guess technically it's anybody who's a mom, but like. It's more that like, if you have big boobies and a big booty, you know, now. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is like, not me. <laughs> yeah well, you can have mine oh i'll take that i'll take that <laughs> yeah hey, i'm trying you, guys, you can hold hands into the deal it'll be cute oh, yeah like freaky friday oh my gosh yes there we go there we go <laughs> we'll tape it all only fans all right <laughs> hell yeah i need it i need to start one. Oh my gosh you should yeah I'm I'm first lab with me I mean, yeah. I got I got good feet. That's about it. Oh, oh there, there we go. Is well, what are we gonna? What's your name gonna be? Your performer name it has to be something about feet. We gotta think of that. Hmm. You come up with it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is actually a question that I used to do like all the time with like interviews. Is like, if I were a porn star, what would my name be? Like, what do you think it would be? Okay. Well, we gotta do something with the feet. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh, toe knee. But the first one is toe. Like literally just toe. Uh -huh. Last name knee. So I'll take it. Ties it. Into the, kind of ties into the feet. Uh -huh. And then it's also toe knee when you read it like full out, you know? I'll take that. There we yeah, go. That's not I bad. That's not bad. Damn. We're yeah, see, I, w I, n I never would have come up with something good like that. But yeah. see, like, but that's, I think that would be my niche. Like, from the heels or like from the ankles down, I'm a 10. <laughs> uh, ankles up, a little bit different, but you know, I gotta, I gotta go where God gave me my talent, you know? Exactly. You gotta play your role. Exactly. Like <laughs> oh my God. If, if you could do like a porn parody of any movie, what would you do? Step Brothers. I don't, I don't give a fuck. If really? A, I, that is my favorite movie. You that could just call it, call it Step Sisters. Yes, but recreate like the oh my gosh, fuck you, Brennan. I know you touched my drum set, and I only hear that dirty little mouth of yours admit it. <laughs> I know you're lying because cops doesn't start until four thirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a I got a belly full of white dog shit right now, and you're laying this crap on me. Hey, have you? Oh god, this is a weird question. When is the last time you've seen white dog shit? I, I feel like it, it does not exist anymore. It really it doesn't fucking exist anymore. I know. As a kid, I feel like I saw it everywhere. It was like, yeah. uh, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. It, it just disappeared overnight. It did? What are they feeding the dogs now? Well, see, I think that we might be feeding them better now. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't think it was supposed to turn white like that, but you know. I don't think it was either. <laughs> yeah, damn, Step Brothers is a really good one. It's I've never. Yeah, I haven't gotten that answered yet. I've gotten like a bunch of random ones, but Step Brothers is a fucking great one. It's it'd be fucking amazing. Is that your favorite movie? Favorite movie of all time. I can quote yeah. quote it word for word. Same. It's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Should we have like a marathon where we watch it? A I'm movie? down. Oh my god, I would be so fucking down. That's, Hell yeah. That's... Yeah, Step Brothers is probably the funniest movie ever made. It fucking is. People love like I don't, I don't know. It's just like amazing. Like Will Ferrell and what's the other guy? Like they're John, fucking, John C. Riley. Yes, and they're fucking yeah, yeah. them together. The funniest fucking shit. See, my favorite character in it is um, what's what's Will Ferrell's brother's name? In the uh, you know, oh my uh, god, Dale. That's Dale. No, no, oh, no, no, no. That Brennan. no. The other oh, brother, oh, the oh, older oh, brother um, or younger brother. Garrett. Um, Derek, right? Garrett. It starts with Derek. G. Derek. Derek, Derek. Oh, I yeah. Think. Yeah, oh, whenever Derek. they're like singing in the car and he's, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and and like his wife singing, and he just keeps going, You're flat, flat. Like, he's, <laughs> like I'm going to save you with this solo. Bow, <laughs> bow, I'm dead. Not to sing like this. Love it. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one. My favorite movie is Jurassic Park, which I feel like could be turned into a really good porn parody. Oh. Oh, it definitely could. Oh my gosh, yeah. that'd be so fucking amazing. Yeah. See, we'll do all right. Step Brothers and then Jurassic Park. There we go. Yeah. Er, Hell yeah. This is a casting call for, for directors. We are looking for directors willing to shoot a parody of Step Brothers and a parody of Jurassic Park. Um, if you would like to, my email will be in um, is in my bio. And go ahead, hit me up there, and we will um, discuss further. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, if you okay, all right. So, if you could do a scene with any celebrity, so not a porn star, like an actual celebrity, who do you pick? Mm. So, like in this Step Brothers parody, okay. who would you put in it? Okay, so for a good one all right um well i want to be brennan okay so, um this is gonna be stepsisters mm-hmm. for dale let me show me how he's funny hold on because they have they can't they can't just be based off looks we need like the character has to be there like Kristen wig i don't know who that is Oh, she was in. She was on Saturday Night Live. You would know who uh, she is. Oh, um, think, what the hell? What? Why can't I think of anything? I, is she in that movie where she pretends to be like pregnant to like get money? Wait, I think that's Amy Poehler. <laughs> oh, that's Amy Poehler. That's Amy Poehler. Which actually, Amy Poehler is a better choice. Okay, we'll do Amy Poehler. Yeah, okay. and Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler is like really hot too. So. Oh, she is. So like a we- teacher. Like she is like like a teacher hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Damn, that's a good and, one. And then um, for Derek, who do we got? I feel like it's got to be a douchebag. Yeah, uh, like a like Ryan Felipe or Philippi, however you say it. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Have who you ever is. seen uh, Cruel Intentions? Nope. I know what you did, or I know what you did last summer. Nope. Damn. Well, never mind. <laughs> I feel like we could do. Um, hmm. Like what'd Paul. You say? Huh? What do you say? I was gonna say Paul Rudd. Oh, I've heard of him. I feel like I know who he is, but yeah. Um, we'll do like a Zac Efron. Or no, 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 uh, no. Name. Okay. What's his name? Fucking from Twenty One Jump Street. Channing Tatum. Well, yeah, Channing Tatum. Yeah. He's just like. <laughs> He, he's funny. He's in 21 Drum Street, so I yeah. see it. He has, like, the body of, like, the douchebag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> but, okay, so just, but in general, who would you pick? Like, if you could just do a scene, like a girl-boy scene with anybody, who do you pick? Um, Chloe Cherry. Love her. And then. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we talking porn people or are we just talking? I was talking about, like, just celebrities, but that's a good choice, too. Oh, I love but um yeah. celebrities 
Um, well, I want to I wanna fuck the shit out of Angelina Jolie. So we're going to have to choose Angelina Jolie. And Hell then, yeah. Uh, um, 24K Golden, he's a rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, so I put him as um, Derek. And for the dad, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, okay. Yeah, love, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the dad. I love Jesus. Him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh and, my god. Um, for the mom, it would be. Hmm. See, I don't know. I would actually probably keep the mom because she's actually kind of hot. She is. She is hot. Yeah. Her yeah. body, like when her and uh, the guy are fucking at the beginning when they mm-hmm. both, and they have a forty year old son. I was like, damn, bitch yeah yeah what's her name i think her name's like mary steenbergen yeah she's super hot yeah so she, i'd probably just stick with her there yeah there we go we got our cast who is your like childhood crush um matthew mcconaughey <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right all right all right yeah. all right yeah. he's, oh he's mcconaughey him and steve i fucking love steve Damn. Steve. okay Damn, Steve was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's amazing. He's so funny. I feel like we should have added him into the film. He'll be there yeah. somewhere. He'll yeah, be the he guy from across the street. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Or uh, the guy that's doing the job interviews for him. It's like, did you just oh fart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Or Seth Rogen. Yeah, it was Seth Rogen, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like, I taste ketchup. What? Yeah. up in onion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, mine was um I don't know, like I had like a huge crush on like Lil Kim, you know, the rapper. Oh really? Oh yeah. He is cute. God, yeah. Lil Kim and then like Carmen Electra. I feel like I know who that is. I can't she, yeah, she was like really famous for doing like this like MTV spring break things. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, back yeah. In the day. yeah. And she was on Baywatch. Wait, what did I do? There we go. Okay. Oh, no, you're good. But yeah, that, yeah, those. And Angel, actually, Angel Angel Lee's a really good one too. He's good so, God. She's like, so hot. Like, I remember when she was married to Billy Bob Thornton and they showed up to like some, I think the Oscars or something. They were wearing the little necklaces that had like the vials of each other's blood. Yeah. I've seen and I remember, that. yeah, I remember everybody was like, oh, look at how crazy these people are. I was like, that is like one of the, like, that's like the biggest turn on ever. It is. Like, that's so hot. I want to vial of somebody's blood. Let me switch. I'll send you some. Don't worry. Oh my gosh. I'll send you some at mine. Hell yeah. Oh, how cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, who would have thought? Like, who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? Awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's... So, were you always... I mean, to do porn, you have to be, like, insanely confident, I would think. Um, <clears throat> I feel like it helps, but when I first started, I wasn't that confident in myself. Actually, like, I feel like I didn't really get, I didn't have a lot of confidence until recently mm-hmm. when I broke up with my ex. Really? Yeah, he's in porn. Oh, uh, okay. He's out of it, <laughs> but he's out of it now. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. So, okay. But, uh, I mean, but even to just do, to just, like, do porn in general, like, yeah, or at least it, it, there has to be, like, like, you know, like body confidence. Does yeah, that make sense? Have, I mean, I wasn't confident in my body when I first joined, but I feel like um, you do have to have some level of confidence. Mm-hmm. But, um, what I tell uh, people is like, you have to think, I mean, being, seeing that somebody is willing to represent you mm-hmm. really helps with the confidence. So I know as, as soon as girls see that, they're like, oh shit, people are willing to like put their necks out for me. To yeah. Do this. So I obviously have a look that people enjoy. Yeah. So I feel like it helps with the confidence, but you do have to have a level of confidence. But I think getting as soon as you're signed, your like confidence, like it does go up. That makes sense. Yeah, because I can just see, you know, I mean, this isn't like a 
new thing or a new idea, but there is like a huge problem with people like not like shaming. I mean, I guess it is shaming too, but like the porn industry gets like a really bad rap for like having people in it that they think are abused or they must have like super low self-esteem and all this stuff, but it doesn't really like add up when you're like for all the people that I've been able to talk to, they seem like Mm -hmm. some of the most like confident people I've ever met. Yeah. You have to be confident in your, in your body and in like your image to be able to um, put yourself on like that. Well, a certain level of confidence. Well, and there's just so much attention put on like, especially like younger women like younger girls like that oh you know you're you can't ever be happy enough like with like how you look or like you should always be like you know i I don't know it's like a a weird like body shaming sort of thing that there is with like young women that like young guys don't really get that much but it's just interesting that the same people who were like anti like body shaming are also a lot of the times have like a bad attitude towards porn, even though porn is like, seems super welcoming of like anyone's body type. Like there's a genre for any, anybody's body. Yeah. So I don't know. It's there's definitely, there is, there are a lot of people like that where they're very body positive, but then as soon as Mm -hmm. you're doing, you're like, Oh, you're putting your body out there for people to like objectify you. It's like, no, I'm confident in my body. I'm confident, confident enough for people to watch me get railed like it really it is like porn does people's body like confident yeah. you just need to like see that and they also like porn um i mean because big butts and stuff used to not be a thing can yeah. I can help with that and then porn also yeah. did too because people started saying oh i like watching this big booty bitch like twerk hell like yeah it. like so oh, yeah. porn, porn helps with that. So where people aren't just stuck in like the whole, you just need to be as skinny as possible. It's like yeah. different body types and people are more open to it now, especially with content creating mm-hmm. because there's more people in sex work um, due to that, that aren't just in mainstream porn. Um, yeah. Well, sex work definitely helps. Both For sure. Theater. Yeah do you see yourself like do you see yourself staying in porn like for like a long time like do you give yourself kind of a window or i i want to stay in it as long as i can hell yeah i i I love porn and even if it's not um performing i know i'm Mm -hmm. like i'm starting up a website can't talk about it yet but um I, i will say it's about squirting it's gonna be like a squirting website Oh, uh, well, I guess you have but, to compete with uh compete with my website then. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your website? Well, I can't tell you just yet. Oh, but, classic. classic. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know. We've well, got classic <laughs> right here. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's see who's drops first. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Probably I yours. My, I got to tell my web web designer to get on that. Like we got competition. Hell yeah. <laughs> god yeah is there like how do you navigate doing porn versus like do people have this idea about you that like a negative outlook to you like do you come across people that treat you you know in a bad way because of doing porn or are most people pretty cool about it Um most people are pretty cool about it until like sorry i had to like fix that but um most people are pretty cool about it until so if i'm friends with somebody and then Mm -hmm. i stop talking to them that's the first thing they go for because they can talk shit about like oh you're a whore you do i'm like yeah sweetie and i'll fuck your man so which really means that they were never cool with it yeah they just like it's more they pretended um, to be cool with it until you know yeah they just like yeah of hanging out with people who are in porn but i mean in the, on like a day-to-day basis people that i meet that i've met in public or like um that i've found out that i do porn they're like oh no that's cool like that's really cool um i've never i mean sometimes i've gotten a bad reaction 
when I whenever I get a bad reaction, it's just because I look so young and I'm in it. Yeah. Okay. But um besides that, everybody's pretty good. But people are just like, oh, you look too young, like you're too young to be doing this. I'm like, no. I'm I mean not. I, Yeah, I mean I can kind of get that. Like the the oh you're so young. Like cause the I mean, I'm sure they think that like, oh, you know, you're too naive or something, but Look, I, I mean, I don't know you well, but you definitely don't seem naive by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm sure that, but it's, but you can't help, you know, people are going to come with, come, you know, their judgments yeah. are going to come really quick and people will make a weird impression about you from nothing, from just like how you look. So fuck those yeah. people. Yeah. That'd be in any like industry. I mean, cause I worked in mortgages before this. And so yeah. people, they would come in and they would think I was like, the ceo's daughter just like sitting down and playing at a desk i'm like no bitch i'm the funding manager let's go yeah yeah now you're on my team now so <laughs> you just got hired yeah. from my team so yeah but you're probably like super used to that anyways by now yeah i but... i play along with it which is really bad like in public <laughs> i like to mess with people like how um like one time i was with chase archangel mm -hmm. um and we were hanging out in vegas and we were walking down the strip and i kept calling him my big brother and i was holding i had a dick shaped lollipop and i was sucking on it with one hand and he had his pockets out turned and i was holding onto his pockets walking down the street <laughs> and we were he was like pretending to be on his phone but we were just like looking at people's reactions like after we got back to the hotel of us just like walking around me talking about big brother um calling a big brother and be like are you um are you gonna let me suck your dick again big brother when we get back to the hotel <laughs> like, oh well look i mean i'm from the south so it's really not as uncommon um, as you would think oh you're country boy <laughs> yeah I, mean, I, I lived in montana for a little bit in kentucky oh I kentucky yeah kentucky yeah damn bluegrass yeah i uh <laughs> No, you could just go to Walmart at two in the morning and see anything like that. <laughs> this shit ain't uncommon at all. That's true. <laughs> I mean, there's only like five families here and they're all just <laughs> banging each other. So keeping it in the family. Yeah, which I don't know who's looking around at those genetics and saying, Oh, we need to make more of this, but they are. <laughs> they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be, but oh, look at them hell yeah so i mean do you see yourself doing like like do you have any interest in doing like behind the camera sort of stuff too so i'm always curious like are there a lot of in, like porn stars who get involved in like directing or do those stay pretty separate um no there, there's a i wouldn't say there's a lot but um mm -hmm. it's more common for now i feel like for people to like ugh, okay mm -hmm. <laughs> for yeah to um start like directing and doing behind the scenes work mm -hmm. um and i said so, like with my website i'm gonna have somebody else direct stuff just because mm -hmm. my way around the camera um <laughs> so, yeah. and i'm away in front of them but yeah. uh, but i don't know my way around a camera like or like behind a camera i can't do that but um a lot of people do and they take really um like steve holmes for example He's a performer, mm -hmm. but he also used to direct Public Disgrace. And mm -hmm. same with um, Tommy, Tommy Pistol. He also directed Public Disgrace and recorded it. They're amazing, like, editors and stuff like that. So it definitely is common um, for people. Same with, like, Alex Jet. Alex Jet, um, he directs stuff now. He does, like, UOB stuff for Teen Speed, but he's also male talent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, I was always curious because you know, with like if you want to call it like mainstream movies, that's always like a thing of like Clint Eastwood and people like that who switch to directing. But I always wondered if it's the same for like the porn industry, which yeah. I guess it makes sense that it would be. Yeah, is there? I mean, I'm sure as being in porn, like you are probably more like probably more open to like kinks and fetishes than like the average person. But are there any that? you just do not understand um 
I mean, a shit kink. Like, <sighs> yeah. Don't do what you want to do, but that, that's not for me. Yeah. Not- See, that's that's my attitude. Is like I say, you know, if it's two consenting adults, do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. So it's not necessarily that I had like judged the people who do it. But yeah, there's some of them that are just like, what? How in the hell does this do anything for you? Yeah, it's like I can never see myself doing that. But you go all power to you. Like I know there'll be times where I'm kind of scrolling through, you know, like a porn site, and half the time I'm just looking at like stuff and being like, what the fuck? Like there are people into this, and then I'll click on the video, and there's like 40 million views. Like yeah. Jesus, like balloon popping. I haven't seen that. So there is a like a huge fetish with women, usually like most of the time not even like naked. They're usually like in like a bathing suit or something, sitting on balloons and like popping them in between their legs and stuff. And and then like you know like when you scrape a balloon, it makes that like ugh that fucking sound. Like that's all it is. And I'm like, you think it's more ASMR? I know like ASMR is like a kink. It's like a thing that. anxiety but it also people get off to that so do you think that's more like an asmr type i could that makes sense yeah i could see that as being more yeah 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 that that's probably what it is there we go jesus what's one like are there any other like kinks or fetishes that you would like to do like as far as you know in porn i want to be cuffed i've been tied up but never cuffed okay isn't that, isn't that so that's not really like a fetish i don't know i feel like i it's a kink i mean sure um i don't know if i, I want to peg a guy oh really want to peg a guy yeah i feel like that's every girl's dream is it really <laughs> i think it, it every time i mention it to a girl they're like oh my god no i want to peg a guy so bad too really yeah i never I mean, I know that it's like a thing, but I mean, I don't know. I guess that makes sense. Holy hell. Yeah. yeah. But I'm very submissive. So I don't even know if I could do it. Like it's something I want, but I'm like, I don't want to be the one doing anything. I want to, I want to be the one getting chopped and choked and pissed on. Agreed me. Agreed. Yeah. Wait, you said you do want to get choked and pissed on or don't? Oh, I do. Oh, I have. What, get pissed on? Yeah. How was that? Oh, I love it. I drink piss. Really? Mm-hmm. Tasty. What does it taste like? Um, it depends on if they're running clear or not. Um, oh, okay. So if they're running clear, it's usually like pretty like sweet, like not a bad taste. Like it could taste like Mm, like if you left if you left like a bottle of water in the car like in the heat and you know how it kind of starts uh-huh. weird because the the bottle yeah yeah that's what that's not that bad yeah and then so like if they've been like drinking or something like alcohol you can taste like the like the alcohol in it or it just it doesn't mm-hmm. uh, it's not horrible yeah. Uh, only time I don't like getting pissed in my mouth is like right after they come, and then they're like, "Oh, like I'll piss on you now." I don't like it because it makes it thick. Like, oh, okay. So it's like more syrupy. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> what are the people on plie with the wine, where they can like taste the wine and be like, "Yeah," and then kind of like sniff it, like sniff yeah. the glass, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do the wafting, like, okay. Yeah. But, uh, where they put the air in it to, like, what is uh-huh. it called? Ox- air. Oxid- aerating? Or yeah. Oxid- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it aerated. Jesus. So how did you find out that you like that? Um. So like, I always see videos of girls, like, getting, like, pissed on my, um, Ash, like so my ex he would never piss on me nobody would piss on me and then during one of my first scenes I asked one of the male talent I was like hey 
do you mind because everybody like showers after like the scene mm-hmm. like can you piss on me in the shower <laughs> he said yeah. yes like piss in my mouth in the shower and i loved it i loved it and i drew it like all the time now <laughs> How, yeah <laughs> that's crazy it doesn't seem like it'd be that hard to find somebody to just like piss on you it's uh, people don't like to do it because like i said i look really young so they don't like me because it's like they feel like it's wrong because i'm so little and i look so young i'm Mm -hmm. like just do it i want it i mean shit and there's nothing you can do about that i mean yeah yeah and i'm like i bet you they wouldn't have cared if i just looked a little bit older probably i mean it doesn't seem like a it's not a huge ask i mean i'd piss on damn near anybody if they asked me I mean, I'm going to piss anyways. Exactly. Okay, I was... Who? Oh, it was... Okay, so I was with my ex, and he wouldn't he wouldn't piss on me. And um, because he's like, he's like, I can't. Like, that's gross. And I was in the shower, and he was peeing, and I just stuck my head out. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, he was, I was like... And he's like, I'll just pee on you now. Because <laughs> I was, like, watching. Like, just uh, uh, inching close to the toilet. He's like, just get the fuck in the shower and let me do it. <laughs> Damn, you really are into that shit. Oh, I love it. I love it. Hey, more power to you. It's good to be open about the shit that you're into. There's no reason to have any shame. Which I'm sure that that's one that people, like, people, most people probably want you to feel shamed for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Like, who's getting hurt in this situation? Exactly. Like, nobody. Like, some dude has to piss. I mean, he'll die if he doesn't. And you just happen to like getting pissed on. So it's and a fucking, I, it's a match made in heaven. Exactly. And since he might die from that, if I didn't have a mouth for him to piss in, then he would die. You so. save someone's life. Exactly. You should be on the cover of, like, Time magazine. I should. I need a badge of honor. I agree. At least a like a a holiday named after you. Yeah. Where everyone Maybe. just pisses on each other for that whole day. Oh, how cute. I love that. I love that. It's a good gesture. Yeah. Where are it's you from? A- like in like or like uh, city or state if you I grew up in Vegas, but I just recently moved to uh Cali to start like really getting the point i got gotcha. you we'll see vegas being your hometown is pretty lucky because they would be like the most like okay with it city to have a yeah. national like piss day yeah do you think i should write like the governor i would okay. i'll help you i'll help you write a letter i have pretty good penmanship there we go thank you i appreciate uh, it. no problem i know a lot of big words so oh. and that's really the key to getting anything done yeah, you gotta say like we need to instead of like a piss day, like urinate. We gotta think of like a nice way to say it, like urination. Um, what are we calling it? What are we calling it? Mm, the urination celebration. Oh my god! <laughs> they need to make that the title of the scene. Hell yeah! The urination <laughs> celebration. I mean, yeah. Why not? Like I. Go. Look, I mean, I've never pissed on anyone. Not true. I've pissed on someone, but it was an accident. But I've never pissed on someone in perp on purpose. And rewind. Re- 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 I need that story. <sighs> I accidentally pee on someone. Okay, so I used to drink a lot. Um, yeah. So I don't drink anymore. Um, but I used to drink a lot. And one time I was drinking, and like, you know, if you're drinking a lot, you have to piss constantly. Yeah. And yeah. I kind of had just been pissing so much that I was sort of forgetting that I was pissing and somebody asked me a question and I just turned around to answer and (laughs) you know, it was still going. I was like midstream and yeah. So (laughs) they liked it. I don't think so. The reaction (laughs) seemed um, unfavorable. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm hard to get. Uh, Then they're really good at it (laughs) because Yeah, they were not into it. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. But sorry, I interrupted you. I no, that was good. Well, there was also one time whenever, like, hmm. I don't know. I hope this isn't like an uncommon thing. One time I was having sex and I thought that I was about to come, but then I was like, but I might really have to piss and I don't know which one it is. Yeah. And to this day, I'm not really sure what I did. <laughs> so I'm going to count that as like 50% that I okay. pissed on someone. Okay. Well, actually that would be pissing into someone, but oh, still. I love that. Oh, see, I haven't done that either. I want to try that. Yeah. Just well, well, I got you beat then. You Maybe. Did. Look at Possibly. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure to this day what happened. Um, <laughs> well, let's say you, you have me beat. I'm going to say that too. Just to, you know, tick a little number off my list and be like, all right, yeah, there we go. Up. <laughs> God. Yeah, it's, I wish people were more open about sex. It just doesn't make sense to be so like, close-minded about it and i'm not saying that i'm into like a lot of stuff but it's just dumb yeah. that people don't have conversations like this very often it is it really is i think people are just afraid to be open with things and try out new things and mm. so um since they're afraid they just never do it in their whole life so they yeah. they think they'll they never know if they actually like it they just deem it as disgusting for and sure for sure but, but I also think that porn becoming so popular, which I mean, it's always been popular, but it's like really popular now. Yeah. I think, I think helps out a lot. Definitely. I mean, I'm sure that there's, you know, there's pros and cons to everything, but like porn becoming so available to anyone, it gets looked at as like, oh, this is the end of the world. Like porn, anybody could find porn, like it's horrible, but I think it actually probably does a lot more good than bad. Oh, it definitely does. It helps people like have these conversations like you and I are having. Yeah. Uh, and just be more open because now because of like the whole OnlyFans wave, everybody knows somebody doing fucking OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows somebody. So it's like people are really open to it now because it's just like, oh shit, all my friends. All right, I know like three friends that are doing OnlyFans and they're fine and look at them. Mm -hmm. uh, being able to like support themselves with porn and being open with it, I should be more open to it. And then there you go. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's a yeah, that's a great way to to put it. Because yeah, I just I don't know. Like I, I know that okay, you know probably like last question. I know we're kind of running out of time, but like, do you see? porn like is there anything educational in it or should you kind of just look at it as fantasy um i would i mean i feel like in porn it's like consent is very prevalent and so i see mm -hmm. that but real sex isn't always like porn so right. i would just um, i would say it's more fantasy just because it's real sex you're not always gonna stay you're not always gonna do five different positions and you're not always gonna be fucking your stepsister <laughs> like, well speak for yourself mm -hmm. okay yep. you're right. uh, <laughs> 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 oh, but i mean you're, you're not always gonna be doing five positions and fucking for an hour yeah you're, you're, sometimes you just gotta get a quickie sometimes it's just one position the entire time and you just gotta like accept that yeah see i think that it it did teach me a little bit because like you know i mean i didn't grow up with parents that were teaching me about sex like they they basically they, like one day they asked me if i knew what a condom was and i said yes and they were like okay and then they walked out of my room that was like my sex talk um and then school like i didn't learn anything about sex in school no. i i learned that if i had sex i was going to die <laughs> literally, literally yeah. all they teach abstinence which they shouldn't they should have better like sexual education in schools well yeah well abstinence is the dumbest like i mean granted yeah if you are abstinent then you aren't gonna get someone pregnant and all these things but who who the hell wants to be abstinent Especially when you're 16. When I was 16, it was the only thing I could think about. Yeah. Like, and 
same with all kids and like kids just they go to health class and they're hearing about this and they're like oh well that's just fucking stupid and they're not exactly. actually learning they're like not- i didn't learn anything in school because all i could think about was sex like it, i'm talking about like if somebody put like if i saw like a girl in class put like a pencil into a pencil sharpener <laughs> over like it's, it is done like like i'm done for the day in I'm, my pants <laughs> oh yeah like like i mean it, but it, but so then i looked to porn and i was like all right well let me at least learn like you know what does it look like what does all this stuff even look like okay yeah. what it kind of look like like nobody was telling me that i remember somebody making a joke about like a sandwich saying oh it looks like a vagina and i was like oh that's what that looks like yeah so like you know like i didn't know anything about it so i do think porn like taught me a little bit but yeah. but i would also you know you separate the fantasy of it like professional wrestling like it's fun yeah. to watch but you know this shit's not real and i know mm-hmm. that like porn isn't like real but i think it could help out in yeah. some way yeah definitely like like you said professional wrestling we all know we can't smell what the rock is cooking but we, still no. love, but we still love it we still <laughs> act like we do exactly hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> well with that uh we'll go ahead and let you go i know we're kind of running out of time anything that you'd like to promote before we go uh my instagram is coco love lock backup and my twitter is uh official coco lob my OnlyFans is OnlyFans.com slash Coco Lovelock. And I'm also nominated for a Flashbot Award for Best Group Sex Scene. So if you guys wanted to go vote for that, go ahead. Go vote. Yeah. This is more. If you're going to vote for anything in your lifetime, this is what you should vote for. Hey, fuck the election. Fuck the election. They don't care about you. Exactly. But you know, <laughs> I care. Coco Lovelock. Amen. <laughs>